we've talked for years, haven't we, about, you know, it isn't that we don't have enough NHS, enough beds, because everyone's got their own bed. Um, but how can we support that care at home? I think virtual wards will make a massive difference. It will allow people to um, escalate when they need to, to contact someone immediately. Um, I mean, we're just starting out. We've got very small numbers of patients in our virtual ward. And in fact, the care they're getting at the moment is, you know, is probably the best care anyone's ever getting uh, because the consultants are so in- and the team, our MDT team are so engaged in what's happening to them because everyone does want this to succeed it, it will be difficult scaling it out um, because people will have to withdraw from that level of intervention um, but I think we, you know, we'll learn as we go along but I think is absolutely the, the right way forward uh, and if you can communicate, communicate easily and quickly mm. with your team via a tablet or whatever you know, you've got the reassurance that you can stay at home. And I think that's the biggest thing about it for both for patients and carers. They're so worried they're going to get it wrong. If you can get that immediate reassurance, then you're happy to to stay at home and know that someone's going to come out to you. 